Chapter 15. Gerunds and Infinitives. Part 2. C. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to understand the infinitive purpose of in order to. Use adjectives followed by infinitives. Identify infinitives with to and enough. And recognize passive infinitives and gerunds. In order to is used to express purpose. It answers the question why. In order is often admitted as in example B. Let's look at examples. Example A. He came here in order to study grammar. B. He came here to study grammar. To express purpose, use in order to, not for with a verb. Now, let's look at some incorrect examples. He came here for studying grammar. He came here for to study grammar. He came here for study grammar. All of these examples are incorrect. For can be used to express purpose and can be followed by a noun object, as in example F. For example, I went to the store for some rice. I went to the store to buy some rice. Now, there is an exception to the rule. The phrase be used for expresses the typical or general purpose of a thing. In this case, the preposition is followed by a gerund. A saw is used for cutting wood. Also possible would be a saw is used to cut wood. However, to talk about a particular thing and a particular situation, be used plus an infinitive is used. A chainsaw was used to cut, not for cutting, down the old oak tree. Adjectives followed by infinitives. Certain adjectives can be immediately followed by infinitives, as in example A and B. Let's read example A. We were sorry to hear the bad news. B. I was surprised to see Tim at the meeting. In general, these adjectives describe a person or persons, not a thing. Many of these adjectives describe a person's feelings or attitudes. Let's look at some common adjectives followed by infinitives. Glad to do it. Happy to. Phase to. Content to. Relieved. Delighted to. Fortunate to lucky to. Please read the rest of this chart by pausing your screen. Gerunds. Passive infinitives. The passive infinitive is used in some constructions using the passive voice. It is particularly common after auxiliary verbs such as may, should, or could to indicate what is possible or what is correct. The passive infinitive is formed to be plus past participle. As with the present infinitive, there are situations where the zero form of the passive infinitive is required, so the word to is omitted. This happens after most modal auxiliaries and in other places where zero infinitives are used. For example, I am expecting to be given a pay raise next month. The carpet needs to be washed. These doors should be shut at night. Now, passive gerunds. Passive voice with gerunds. Gerunds are used after prepositions and verbs normally followed by a gerund. For example, I remember being taught to read. The students are excited about being taken to the library. The students are excited to be taken to the library.